Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see, how we can create this expendable app bar or let's say flexible app bar in Flutter, and on which you can see that the app bar's is color is changing from red to pink and it have this a beautiful gradient effect, so now let's start. And before starting I'm requesting you to please comment down that, what you have liked or disliked in this video, so that I can improve and make your learning experience much better. So in the last video we have created this simple app bar, with some customer icons. So now let's remove this app bar and here first add the background color for our scaffold, so here I am using deep orange color for the background, now let's add the body parameter for the scaffold, now here use custom scroll view, then here add slivers inside this custom scroll view, then here add sliver app bar, now come inside the sliver app bar thing, and here add the title for this app bar. So here add text widget, then inside it add your string, then come and here add a leading icon for this app bar and it is going to menu icon, then here add expanded height, so this height is responsible for how much the app bar can expand, like this is the maximum height of it. So here I have added 350, now if you save the code, then you can see app bar have this maximum height of 350, and when you scroll then this app bar will get short. Now here add some body parameters like sliver to box adapter, ok and inside it add the padding, then give it pettying for all the sides, then here add child parameter and here add container widget. Then let's give it a height of 250 and give the width as double dot infinity, so that it will utilize all the available width, ok then here add the decoration parameter, and here give it the box decoration, then here first add the border radius, so I have added the border radius as 25 then here give it the color of the container. So here I'm again using the deep orange color, but a light bolder than the scaffold's background color. Then here we have a error, ok so the error is coming because we have used the const here, so let's remove this from here and add that const into your sliver app bar. Then save the code and you can see our box adapter is appeared. Now, let's copy this box adapter and paste it few more time so that we can have a scrollable body. Now save the code, now come above here and now you can see that whenever we are scrolling, the app bar height is getting reduced and then the app bar is disappeared when you scroll too much. Now let's add the background color, ok so let's set the background color as the orange. Now save the code and yeah it is looking beautiful till now. So this is the one behavior that we have achieved. But now, what if we want that whenever we scrolling up, then our app bar should appear, so for achieving that feature we need to use floating property. Ok so for doing that here add the floating property, by default it is false, so let's make it true. Now save the code, now when you scroll up, the app bar is disappeared and it is working fine. Ok now whenever you try to scroll down, then you can see, our app bar has started appearing and it will expand to its maximum height then it will start again scrolling for the rest of the body, so that was the one behavior. Now what if you want to stick your app bar at its normal height, so you can also achieve that feature, so for doing that first let's make this floating to false, then here add the pin property and by default it is false, so let's make it true. Then save the code, then you can see whenever the app bar is reached to its minimum height, then it's fixed at its position and the scroll behavior for the body is working fine. Now you can also add the child for this expendable part. So for doing that here add the flexible space property, then here make use of flexible space bar, then inside it first let's give it a background widget, and for the background here add the container, and give it a color of red. Ok now again we have this error, and we have this error because of const used for the app bar, so let's fix this by removing the const from above here, now you can also add the title here. So let's add the title then add the text widget then here add your text string. Then save the code and you can see, our flexible title has been appeared on the screen, and when you scroll up this thing, then our app bar title and this flexible space title is getting merged together, and it's not readable, so let's remove this app bar's title, now it is working fine, and when the app reached to its minimum height, then this this title is getting fixed at its position. Ok now let's change the sliver app bar's background color to pink, now if you save the code and when you scroll up then you can see, we have this beautiful gradient effect changing its color from red to pink. 
Okay, so this was it for this video, if you found this video helpful, then please give a thumbs up, and you can comment down whether you like this video or not, and you can also comment down that what you want to learn in the next video. So yeah that was it now if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom, then please do subscribe.